All right. Uh, parent, uh, well, once again, this is for Saking. Well, this is for well, it's really late to say my name, but um, this is for Saking Gecko uh, once again, and uh, we're continuing the tutorial on well from the beginning about graphics, you know, involving texture and Illustrator shapes, and you know, taking original shapes that are 3D and making them flat. Apparently, I didn't mean for it to turn out like that. There. Also, it has occurred to me that I have not, um, no, actually, it's totally, that just totally passed my mind. It's probably because I'm tired. Anyways, um, oh yeah. Each link to the next video will be in the description below. I'm sorry I forgot that, but I'm gonna put, there's annotations in the other videos, so I don't really think you should worry about it. Anyways, um, but right now we're gonna do is uh, visual, visual effects. It's not. It's something that's really important to uh, an image. I'm gonna get some water C for you. Ah, these things. Ah, they are amazing. I like. I enjoy the fact that this guy made this pack because. Oh, he's made. It's just these water C40s. They're just like. Oh. Alright, we're gonna set, we're gonna sharpen this. Let's give it that water look. Sharpen! Alright, and set it to linear dodge. Crashing water! Okay, I'm gonna set this right here. Let's see what it looks like. Botting! I'm probably gonna throw it way out the way back there. Above the circle face. I only recommend these for like things that require water. <laughs> because, ah, it's not it's not really working well here. Uh, what if we set it to screen? Light. Look at these options to get it in good blending mode. Shiny. <sighs> Screw it. Dang it. Bottom bar. Alright. I'm gonna reopen that same one. We're gonna leave it at its original size. For my sake. Uh, linear dodge. Uh, water! I'm clean that up a little bit. No, 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 no. Might get a little light. Alright. Ah, visual effect fail. I'll go over with. Alright, we're gonna go with some. Let's see. I think this one has no. Ow. Okay. Um. They just got assaulted by a little fuzzball. Um. I think we should get the thing declawed sometimes. Yeah. Pixelated FX. No. No. Oh yeah. Pixelated FX got this resource pack from once again fringe all right I think this one will work well so we're gonna go ahead and cut it not save it paste Ooh, okay I like the color scheme works really well uh, go ahead and quick shortcut but it was sharpened uh, like a like well, drop that one here like, oh, ah, Alright, and then go ahead and duplicate it just because I'm lazy. And uh, put it up over here. Some sparkles! Woo! I re the guy who made this specific pack, you're awesome, dude. You really are. Uh, let's see, there we go. See, it brightens it up. It's just like. It's like ugh, mind gas. Anyways, um, now there's this problem I see with the focal on here. I didn't, I didn't bring that bro out at all. So we're gonna duplicate him. We're gonna turn him 
right click and convert to smart object. The smart object helps us retain its quality, so we're going to do a smart sharpen, sharpen, smart sharpen. See, I kind of like that, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to reduce Z opacity. 70%. There we go. Because all the crisp edges from the illustrator shapes, he was just, you know, falling back. And we're going to do 85. There we go. See, he's fall he was falling back in the background. It's, it's making me sad. Alright, well, Michael sees the problem here. There's not much depth going on here in the background. We're going to fix that in just a second. Alright. Control A. Edit. I'm going to do a little copy merge thing going on. Paste. Edit. Uh, transform. Horizontal. See, it, sometimes, okay, if you watch one of my earlier tutorials, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It definitely don't work on this one. Let me go Edit. Can't undo that, really. And then we'll just delete the layer. Okay, we'll repaste it. Alright, first what we're going to do is we're going to get that blur tool, 25, and we're just going to take that blur and tool, we're just going to blur some stuff. Details that are unimportant to the focal, that'll help redirect your focus to the focal. You just say the object is far away. It's really what you want to say with the blur tool. You want to say, is it far or is it really close? Where you're not focusing in on it. Help give it 3D qualities that way. And that's, in my opinion, that's how you should use the blur tool. Give something 3D qualities in which it does not originally have. Uh, I'm gonna blur down here because you know it's unimportant. But no, we're not. Right. So yeah, I am. I am gonna do it. But it's just don't. Ah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Gonna do it. Right. Right. That's all the blur we're gonna do for now. Blur a little bit of his face right here. only important part you want is this side of his face and then in my opinion that's what you need All right if you're wondering about the f uh, focal placement it's the rule of thirds thing yeah I'll do a tutorial about it later but uh, this is my blur layer it's very simple very you know simple it's simple it's not much and then we're gonna control a we're gonna do an edit copy merge and paste help us retain all the Z blurring. Did I blur down here already? I'm gonna blur a little more. Just cause. Wrong control Y redo that. Well we had to blur again so we're gonna do that. Edit, copy, merge, paste, and then we're gonna bring out the burn tool. Just burn some stuff. Make the dark. Basically, what you want to do with the dodge burn tool is make on you know, the dodge part, make the dark spots darker and the bright spots lighter. Ah, forgotten important step. All right, undo that, delete that layer, repaste it. All right. New layer because there are vibrant colors all over the place. Look at our man here. He is exhibiting no no effects of the lighting at all. We're gonna have to fix that. So I know some tutorials say, you know, no, no brushes, makes it look dirty. No, Mr. Forsaken Gecko has to agree, uh, disagree, not agree, what's wrong with me? Um, there's such a thing called luminosity, and luminosity is a very important part of what you're doing. Uh, it, it's very important can't stress that enough that it is important.
we're gonna get, we're gonna get some of the sample some colors from the light sources and put them on this man in a way that they reflect onto him. Sample this yellowish color right here. This bright pinkish kind of color. Put it right here. That's kind of like a bounce off of him, if you guys know what I mean. It's like it's come off of his flesh. So. Mm. Mm. Brush, take the brush tool, but like, eh, eh, okay, yeah. Yeah, back to the thing about people saying the brush tool. You need to have some luminosity in here. Yeah, see, he's sending luminosity. Ugh, gosh. I said it's a soft light, actually. Better than you dodge. That man, shiny. Make him shine. See, really, a 20% is such a drastic change. Helps get him into the color scheme, make him fit well. Makes me happy to see it. Oh, and I forgot to we'll do a little here, a little touch up of the colors. And there. See? Bam. This man is blends pretty well in, alright? Now we will do the uh, burning. Sorry about that, guys. Almost forgot the totally important step. Alright. Take burn tool. And then burn. Because now that he's blended in with the lighting, it just makes your job easier. Burn right through it through there. Yeah, because this is bottom right here. We're gonna scorch it with the burn tool. Since this is way out here in the back, I'm gonna burn it. Burn. Just burn. Just burn. And and yeah, I'll be diff um, wavering from the fractal illustrator and C4D conglomerate soon, and I'll be working with a little more photo, photo manipulation based things what Photoshop originally was meant for and okay we're gonna brighten lights brighten lights brighten lights we're gonna brighten lights brighten lights brighten brighten lights brighten lights all right now I'm sorry I'm just starting um, and we're gonna take the brighten tool but I, uh, oh we're gonna we're gonna dodge that man's eye and some other parts on so dodge there but like, uh, uh, can't be afraid to use that dodge tool brighten up this part right here but like, uh, guys it's crazy over here but, oh my gosh I don't care Burn right here on the bottom of this little gas mass in. Alright, there we go. Uh, since, you know, I, I really like that. That, that is awesome. However, we're missing, once again, another part. Alright, do another copy merge layer and paste it on there. We're going to have to you know, sharpen just a little bit. We're going to do a smart sharpen on the whole thing, but not at 100%. Usually 50% works. It's a little sharp, so I'm going to turn it down a little more. 30. Yeah, radius. <laughs> Relieve 
the radius at one. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Click OK. No! His eye got pixel A. Just a little sharp in some spots. So we're going to throw it down to like 40%. 30% really. Another control A, edit, and copy merged. I'm going to throw it on there. Right, we're gonna, however, we're going to have to take the blur tool, make it really tiny, fix some of this soup, this crazy pixeling that was going on around his eye. You know you've over sharpened something when it starts getting all rigid and edgy. Just remember that. It'll help you out. So yeah, right now I'm just taking the blur tool, take, going to certain parts to undo some of the extreme sharpening, which looks like most of it's done, yeah. Alright. Well, we're going to have to turn down the strength on this. Like 19. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, we're not oh, close to being done, guys. Stick with me here. Close. Alright, layer, new adjustment layer. Leave it around. We're gonna do gradient map. Not like that. That's pretty gay. Pink and white. Pause it. That kind of looks cool, black and white. I'll be honest. Set it to soft light. No. Like saturation smack everything in the face. Set it to 30%. Well, there you go. Um, if in your if in the video you're currently watching right now, the display isn't that good and you don't see something you really like, uh, well, I have a link down below so you can view the original image now that it's done. And the next Im the next tutorial I'll be doing, a uh, multiple part video, it will be about photo manipulation and how to shadow, you know, add textures in there, say like have a C4D popping out of the ground or like a uh, video game character standing in a crowd of people. I always like doing that, especially when you take Altair stabbing some people and coming out he's, he has his blades out. However, the glass door behind him is covered in blood and he's covered in blood too. So yeah. Teach you how to do special effects with the uh, photo manipulation. Well, any links to anything you need will be in the description. Um, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.